going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. Now, today we've got the things I love about India by the one and only Benjamin... What's his last name? Shit. I think Benjamin Hicks or something. Original links are always in the description. Shout out to this man. He's got great content. I'm sure everyone knows who he is. Um, India. Edition. I don't want to say that, that L word because YouTube's really funny about that. You know, you can't even use words or abbreviations. It's fucked up. Foreigner in India vlog. Well, check it out. Oh, sorry. We did the um, the things I hate about India video like a week ago. So if you're interested in that one as well, check that out. Um, and now we've got the love one. It would only make sense to do the hate and love. Hey everybody, I'm Benjamin Jenks. I'm Benjamin Jakes. Is that it? I swear that's not his name. I'm here in beautiful India. And today, let's talk about five things I love about this beautiful country. Where, where? Even though I'm stuck in my house almost 24 hours a day. Damn! Because it's locked My hair is sticky. Straight. And that's probably the great thing for this man that he's a... Uh, I imagine that YouTube is his full-time job, which is an, an absolute privilege and, and, and an honor for him. I'm sure he would say the exact same. But that's, I suppose, the good thing that he can do his job from inside his house, which... Very fortunate, I would imagine. Whereabouts in India is he from? Like, where is he located? That's a beautiful temple. Calculations. I've been in India for over 900 days. Damn! It's coming up on three years. There's a lot I love about this beautiful country, even though I can't experience it as much as I'd like. But when I'm cooped up inside all day long for days and days and maybe even weeks and weeks, it can be tough to see. I can easily start scrolling through the news and reading. Hey, yeah, you can't be showing this stuff. Uh, Monetization. <laughs> COVID isn't going so well. I don't really care. Lockdown is extended again. Yippee. Well, Actually, I do kind of care. One thing that I've been doing a lot is reading. And one reading? book that I've been reading mentioned a researcher who had a um, insight that I think is relevant to you and to me. Winifred yeah. Gallagher, a science... Okay, I'm sorry, Benjamin, but I am not here for your sponsored deals. No free shout outs on my channel. So, she had a theory, oh. a hypothesis, if you will, that if she focused on things she was more interested in, pleasant things like her family, her work, watching Benjamin Jenks' YouTube channel, that this Hey, hey free plug! And her sense of well being. Nice. story reminded me how grateful I am that I'm still in India. I'm working on projects I'm excited about and to spend some time hey. focusing on pleasant, positive things Coffee. that get me jazzed up. So whether you're stuck inside in India right now and need a boost, whether you're in America and you're planning a trip to India one day, or maybe it's the future and you're traveling around India and you're just wondering, what did this guy Benjamin love about India way back in that weird COVID time? Well, if so, you're in luck because I'm going to talk about five things I love about I just had to, if you just seen a little cut in the video, I just had to edit it out. I got a phone call. I had to answer it. Best editor on YouTube. Some people say that I don't edit my videos. Hey, you just seen a little cut. Best editor on YouTube. Best editor on the planet. Let's keep going. Family matters. Facts. And India's huge for that. Down, First thing is family <laughs> values. Now this may be weird for you because if you notice I'm kind of like all alone in this room. Sad. And all alone in this house. Damn. And all alone here in India. Damn. My family is thousands of miles away. Don't pity me though. I like this. Although I do miss my family pretty often. And yeah. Being around such tight knit families here in India or friends talking about their families reminds me to call my family. Of course. And stay in touch. And look, I know we're here to watch the video. Last pause of the video, but I just want to state, like, this is my channel, so I'm gonna, you know, speak on what I on what I believe. Um. Family, it, it is such an important and so grateful, something that we take for granted so m much. You know, if you're on the phone with your mum and she's, you know, whether she's coming back from work or the supermarket or she's, you know, doing anything, even though if you're going to see her in five minutes, you might, like, there's just a chance, the tiny percent chance you might not. So always when you get off the phone with your mum, your dad, whoever you love, a friend, anyone, tell them that you love them. Seriously, such an important thing. Or it, yeah, I, I, I just, it's something that, you know, is so important, I believe. During the pandemic, four in 10 adults in the USA were diagnosed with some sort of anxiety or depression. 
when the number is more usually around one in 10. People are not too happy right now. And families, especially the important supportive families, the network of families, the big families here in India can be so important for somebody's physical Facts. and spiritual health. The writer VS Nepal said, the Indian family was a clan and a protection and a support and saved people from the void. I like that. Until this day, many Indian families live as a joint family. They so really do. Family bonds. Maybe the parents are living with the son and his family. Shared housing. This can strengthen family ties. And it can. Through this tough period. And a reminder to me to call my mom. Hey mom, how's it going? Ah, he was not even talking to his mom. That was bullshit. Fake acting. <laughs> it's not cold as fuck. Isn't it normally hot as fuck? Hot weather is another one of my favorite things about India. Where I live here in South India, the average South. temperature is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Where I'm from in the US, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Damn! That's a 30 degree difference. We would get 33 inches of snow on average every year. What now the I live in sandals. I rarely wear socks. And even on a day like today where it is <laughs> hot. Burning! I couldn't be happier that I don't have to wear wing tips and go off to my staff meeting and be surrounded by blaring fluorescent lights. I also yeah, get facts. plenty of vitamin D, which is essential to your health. And apparently, cold weather places have a higher death rate. Oh, shh. So give me hot weather <laughs> over cold any day. Facts. I agreed. I prefer the warm, but not too warm. I hate when it, you are just sweating fucking balls. You are just covered in sweat. It's like 3,002. It's like the sun has just fallen into earth. You know what's weird? The sun is so far away. Like, the sun is so far away, but it has this much effect on our fucking world. Insane. India is an ancient, is ancient. Is well, that's obviously true. And it's something Since I love about this as well. Me is a temple, just a block, just a few steps from my house. People come here all the time, even during the lockdown, since it's outdoors, you can social distance. They're walking around it. There's a family right now who's like walking around it. And uh, yeah, we know they're right behind you. Obviously having an important ritual for themselves. For sure. And it's such a beautiful and part of India. What I take to heart about it is that for thousands and thousands of years, bad things have happened and society and humanity continues for so we're gonna get through this and if I'm stressing or frustrated about the things in my daily life that are a hassle with this COVID lockdown I love that I'm surrounded by people who are focused on much more important things for sure Your name? What? all right that was a lion <laughs> thought it was like a saber-toothed tiger from Ice Age in this mother bagger Hard workers, and that—that that is a fact. That—that that is so true, incredibly true. It's the hottest part of the day in one of the hottest parts of India. People are working outside. People are up there working. More people working up top. To me, these people are an inspiration because I found it super hard to get my work done. During wow. This Honestly, it's been a huge gut punch to be making videos about travel in India, and I can't travel yeah, India. Yeah, in the yeah. scheme of things, I'm doing great and I'm loving life. But it does frustrate me and get me down sometimes thinking, when can I go see Goa? When can I see Mumbai? When can I get to Kolkata? So it's really inspirational for me to see people still building a house, still taking their cow out to the pasture, no matter what. You gotta keep grinding. You gotta always keep that hard work up, keep grinding. Because good stuff is only just around the corner. Another thing I love about India is the healthy food. Drive by watermelon. Is that a watermelon? Well. Usually I like to buy vegetables hey. out at the markets and make my own food at home. But sometimes it's great just to order something. I love ordering a tali, rice, sauces, vegetables. Yummy! Yum! Lunch and sometimes enough for dinner. If I ever Ooh. come to the USA, I'm gonna miss the tali. There are so many flavors in this. Although the turmeric juice is pretty good too. What is your favorite? Turmeric juice? T isn't turmeric a spice? I mean, people in India, anything with spice in. Like, I reacted to KSI trying Indian snacks, and he had that little hajamil or hajamal, like, little shot, that little tablet form of spice, and supposedly people just eat those for fun. When I looked at it and I thought, that's crazy. That is seriously crazy. It's spice. Why would you want to eat spice for fun? But then you think it's so much deeper than that, and it's something you 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 are born off. So 
Favorite very true. In India, please let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please. Hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. Again, what he said, comment down below in this comment what your favorite thing is about India. Um, I know that a huge amount of people watching this video would, of course, be from there. Uh, so definitely comment it down below because one day when I come to India, you know, I want to, you know, whether it's the food or whether it's the just any little things that I haven't done on the channel or haven't been mentioned, please let me know because, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm looking forward to it um, one day. You know, it's, it's not like it's going to be fucking tomorrow, but somewhere in the future, I'm definitely going to India um, and I'm, I'm looking so forward to it. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.